You will not believe how much this Chucky doll actually is. Today we are at Universal and specifically Islands of Adventure, their second park. They have just dropped some new Halloween merchandise, so we're gonna take a look at that, but also I'm gonna share you the three secret spots at Islands of Adventure that you might have not known of. That's how you speak English, right? Might have not known, not have known, not have known of. I'm gonna show you the secret spots. So starting off earlier, we're going to Croissant Moon Bakery. Now this bakery, I feel like so many people walk past because it's actually right across from Starbucks. Which look, it's understandable. I am a Starbucks stan all the way. I love Starbucks, but sometimes the line is always really long. And personally, the coffee here at the bakery is actually 10 times better than Starbucks. I, I know, cancel me for that one, but definitely have to try the coffee. Also the food options here as well. And this is probably one of my secret spots. And I know once I talk about it, everyone's gonna go to it. So you're welcome. See, it's always a really chill line. No one's ever in here. The food is phenomenal. And the coffee, just wait for the coffee. And again, this coffee, this cold brew is honestly better than Starbucks coffee. I'm sorry, Starbucks, but sometimes your coffee just be a little too burnt for my liking. Now, I also normally don't get my uh, coffee black, but for some reason, the cold brew coffee in this location tastes perfect the way it is brewed. I don't put sugar, I don't put cream in this. Like, and, and again, I, I am a cream person, I am a sugar person. Like, I, I put cream in my coffees, I don't know what it is. This cold brew tastes phenomenal, just as is. I highly recommend just getting it as it is. It's, it's just amazing every single time. And what's not some coffee without a croissant? And I didn't eat this morning, so I'm very, very excited for this. But um, me and the lady tried this once, and we were blown away of how good this tastes. They use scrambled eggs inside their croissant. Some other croissants will use a whole egg, but they use scrambled eggs, and it really changes the texture of the croissant, and it is just phenomenal. Highly recommend. And in total, this only came to $11. Now, mind you, that is with an annual pass for $11, but without the without the annual pass, you're looking at close to $13, which again is not bad for theme park. We always got a dink. Dink. I believe I can do. 10 out of 10. Approved. If you've never been to Universal Studios before, they do have their main park of Universal, but they also have Islands of Adventure, where we are today. They are building a third park called Epic Universe, which myself and many others are very excited for, and that should be done by 2025, and I cannot wait to start that park. They're gonna have lands like Nintendo World, How to Train Your Dragon, Harry Potter, of course, and then uh, Monsters Universe, which is gonna be a complete dark universe area and and for any of my spooky fans out there i i am beyond excited if you have ever been to islands of adventure before let me know do you go left or do you go right over to seuss personally i always find myself going to seuss i don't know why maybe it's because i secretly just want to ride some of the rides because they got the honestly the best ride here at universal i will always remember the time and mom if you're watching this hi uh how my mother would always read me the Dr. Seuss books, Cat in the Hat, uh, Horton Sees a Who, especially Horton Sees a Who. She loved Horton Sees, I think it's Horton Sees a Who? Yeah, she loved Horton Sees a Who. I think this was like the best book. Hands down the best ride here at Universal. Don't believe me, you clearly have not wrote it. It's so good, I'm not gonna write it today so other people could enjoy the ride. But next time, next time. Oh snap, guys, it's the Grinch. And Cat in the Hat, and Thing One and Thing Two. I had no idea they did this. It's like story time. It was adorable. What do you think? Would that be okay? You, you want to help too? Absolutely, buddy. Listen, please. Ryan and Kendall will be in the big game. No! Remain clear of the virus. Okay, what? Maybe you want to give us a vlog. I don't know if you caught that, but Sam reacting to the announcement of the ride was everything. So we're done with Seuss Land for now. We're heading over to Mythos because in between Mythos and Harry Potter is their Halloween store. I think they did this a few years back um closer to horror nights uh, say maybe 2018 and then they just ended up keeping the store but they updated all their merchandise in there and i think specifically some of it for halloween horror nights so i'm very excited to see all of it so if you can see it before harry potter and in mythos the halloween store also known as all hallows eve 
Okay, you had to choose one of the five terrifying covers. Uh, honestly, all of them. And my prediction was correct. It looks like they're theming it for Halloween Horror Nights. We have one of the icon legends, Jack, right there on the front, starting his carnival. Okay, this is awesome. It is designed to look like a circus. And going back to this, this is Oddfellow. This is the icon for this year for Horror Nights. That is awesome. We got some of the Horror Night merchandise. And it looks like it's dressed like a, almost like a campaign almost, like circus slash like, almost like political campaign. I'm going with circus. This is for the uh, new Exorcist. I'm definitely gonna go see that movie, to be honest. Darkest Deal. See the fox. So they got a lot of the other merchandise here that they were teasing throughout the summer. This was the first thing that they released over the summer. Of course, we got Vecna from Stranger Things. I'm really excited for the new season. It's gonna be awesome. Hope you guys get here the uh, Katy Perry in the background. We'll really see how good my mic is. Well, these are cool. The only problem I face with a lot of these glasses is that I feel like once I dishwash them, a lot of the times they'll just rub off. Actually, this seems pretty sturdy though. Maybe not. I might be wrong on that one. Hand wash only. Oh, the Yeti. So the Yeti is also part of Horror Nights this year as well. This is really cool. Maybe I'll surprise the lady and get her something. I might do it. She won't see this video until later in the week, so. By the time she sees the video, she should already have the item in her hand. Unless I just hold off until she has to see the video. That, that, that would be kind of cruel, but also kind of funny. There it is, Dr. Oddfellow. Okay, so I just put two and two together. Uh, these are some of the themed houses that they're going to be doing for this year. Darkest Deal. There is a lot in here, and also a lot of things that I think I want to buy. I'm not going to. One thing. Meanwhile. Dude, I, I might have to get this shirt. My favorite thing about shirts like these is that it's in the back. I love when the images are in the back. And it says 2023 on it. I might have to get this shirt. I might have to get this shirt. What's, what's the material? I might have to get it. It's not bad. It seems shrinkable, but I get a triple X. Oh my God, even the mug. Even the mug is adorable. I really like this line. Get some stickers, get a bow. Sweatshirt that I'll never buy because I live in Florida. Pumpkin plushie which my cats or my dog would go after, so can't buy that. We got Never Go Alone with my cat Bjorn. Very nice. I have no idea what this is. This is actually really cool though. It doesn't have a price on it. It doesn't have a price. I am in forever wondering. We got the original monsters. Uh, they've been doing this line for a while now, um, but honestly, I think they're also preparing for Epic Universe because they are dar doing Dark Universe for Epic Universe. Pretty cute. This is very detailed. They did a very good job in here. Traveling Circus. Honestly, you spend in here and just look at everything. And air condition too. Air condition is important. Oh, there's so much stuff. Masks. A lot of masks and hats. A lot of masks, a lot of hats. That one's cool though. Okay, unpopular opinion. I know some people and some other fellow friends of mine are obsessed with these candles, I don't think they smell good. I, I, I don't think there's a smell that I've enjoyed. I like its Chucky theme though. I mean, that's cool. Okay, let's, let's test it out. Actually, I take back what I said. 
This one's actually pretty good. <laughs> no, this one's actually really good. <sighs> I take back what I said. Not bad. 20 bucks. Not horrible. Anyone a fan of hot sauce? I've seen these t-shirts before. Honestly, this line is hilarious. They got Dracula. Wait, this is Dracula. They got more over. Where are they? And they're over here. There he is. You got Frankenstein and Will. I just, I just wish, this is just a preference though. I just wish the image was on the back. I like images on the back of my shirt. Still cool though. Wolfman, the mummy. Definitely very cool, very 90s. More merchandise over here. We got these socks. These socks are actually really, really cool. I like this design as well, honestly. This design, they really knocked it out of the ballpark with designing for Horror Nights this year. I really like the colors. Is this a coaster or a pin? What is this? I think it's a pin. I'm not 100% sure. It's an ornament. I just have no good reading skills. But it's still really cool. Got some earrings and keychains. Honestly, I think I'm gonna pick these up for the lady. These are pretty awesome. What do we got on price? Where are they? Focus. Not bad. 20 bucks? Not bad at all. They're really cute. Of course, I got something. And I also asked about the Chucky doll in there because I was curious. It's going for what they told me, 600, six, six plus. So around $600 even more for the Chucky doll. Uh, I'm good. I don't, I don't need a Chucky doll in my house. <laughs> I'll pass on that one. All right, to show off the shirt. I didn't get the green one, but I did get this. I think this one is very, very dope. Not for me, for the lady, so you're welcome. You're gonna love that. And then of course, I was holding it earlier. I think that these earrings were perfect. So they got cats on them. We love our cat. We love all our cats, but I had, I had to get the earrings. I think these are amazing. I used to have earrings, funny enough, and then uh, the holes in my ears closed up. I am debating on getting them re-pierced. I do miss having earrings all the time. I used to wear uh, my uh, Tanjo earrings as well, my dangle ones. And if anyone out there remembers one of my first original TikToks that I ever did, I was wearing uh, Tanjo earrings and that was a lot of fun. RIP. And like any good universal trip, what is not a trip without Harry Potter? I could clearly tell those were all the people who were at because everyone's here at Harry Potter. It was so much, so much more dead in the beginning of the park, so it is what it is. It makes sense. Harry Potter is definitely their staple here at Universal. So normally I would skip Harry Potter just because how crowded it is today and go somewhere else, but one of my hidden gems are actually here in Harry Potter. And if you've ever been, there is a restaurant called the Three Broomsticks, but right next to it is called Hog's Head. And this is probably one of my favorite beers here in Universal at Hog's Head. And we're gonna go. Oops, sorry guys. Now, as you can tell, Hogshead, there is literally no line. It's so easy, especially if you want to get a beverage. I always jump in this line. Now, this is probably one of my favorite drinks here. It is with Fire Whiskey and the Strongbow. Now, the Strongbow and the Fire Whiskey are both alcoholic beverages, but you can mix the two together. And the bar does it a lot, and it's probably my favorite beverage here. Now, they do have a Hogshead beer as well, and that's fantastic, very hoppy. But coming here with the Boar's Head, I absolutely recommend this drink. A nice tip as well, you can get your butterbeer here. So if you don't want to wait in the long lines outside that carry butterbeer, which trust me, they're always long lines, come in here. This is my favorite spot. You've got to come to Hogshead. You can either get butterbeer or an amazing drink. And again, the time I've been here, again, no line. Never a line. I think so many people just miss this bar. And funny enough, I actually didn't even know this bar was here for the longest time. And I've been going to Universal for years. And how we ended up finding it is that it was raining one day. So me and the fiance were trying to get out of the rain. And we said, oh, let's just duck in here because the bar is right next to the bathrooms. And they are like, wait a minute, there's a bar in here? We had no idea. Of course, we got a drink and we fell in love ever since. But as you clearly tell, no one knows this is back here. So 
there's another secret spot from Blake. Also on the other side of the bar, there's this wonderful seating outside, which again, I feel like not a lot of people know that are back here. And this is a great place just to hang out and cool off. Also, today is brought to you by Roosevelt's. If you ever travel to Florida, highly recommend. They fit comfortably and they are thin, so to protect you from the Florida weather. So after Harry Potter, fantastic time. I actually have a bonus spot for you guys. If anyone out there is looking for really good drinks at Islands of Adventure, next to the Jaws bar, this bar in particular at Jurassic Park is probably a top tier bar. Highly recommend, honestly, every drink on the menu, I would get every drink. I've had every drink at this point, but pick one, get one, you will not be disappointed. If you've been here before, you might know what I'm about to show you, but the watering hole, definitely top tier bar here at Universal, especially for Islands of Adventure. Honestly, every drink has been fantastic. I think one of my favorites here is maybe Predator Rocks. Dino Roar, Roar is also fantastic. Highly recommend, just get one of these drinks. You'll love them. Every single one is amazing, amazing. Talk about lounge fly alert. This booth is normally the Funko booth, but I'm not mad about the update. Look at all the Harry Potter ones. Let me know, what house are you? I'm like a between, apparently in between these two, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. I don't know, I feel more like a Hufflepuff some days. Some days I feel like a Ravenclaw. Dino DNA. I'm gonna Hello Kitty. SpongeBob. Oh my God, they even got some sick fanny packs. This Marge Simpson one is actually hilarious. Actually, it's all the Simpsons. That one's hilarious. Even the, oh no, the Marge one's really cool too, actually. Back to the Future. Goated movie. Minions, even more in the back. Villain Con. Jaws, E.T. Universal Monsters. Purple Minion. Oh, the Bob one's adorable. A Purple Minion, honestly, is me on a bad day or I don't have any coffee. That's me without coffee. So what I'm about to show you has nothing to do with drink or food. It actually has to do with merchandise and specifically nerd merchandise. I do not think this is a place that maybe people necessarily sleep on, but it's definitely a place that I don't think enough people know about. Especially if you've got any collectors like myself, you need to go in this store. Any comic book fans, this is the place to be. You know, a little out of my budget, but I'm um, still super cool. I really do mean completely out of my budget. There's no way I'd be paying that money for a statue. If it was Goku, no, I still wouldn't pay that money. You know, I don't know why, but something draws me to this series. It's very, very interesting to say the least. Dude, all the statues. Honestly, that Black Panther lounge fly is pretty awesome. Again, I don't think that store is really slept on, but not a lot of people know that it's in there and there's so much collectible things. So as a fellow collector, I love stores like that. Anything I can look at and definitely grab like comics, I'm all about. So that was our day at Islands of Adventure. We got to see some of my favorite locations, secret locations, and of course the new merchandise for HHN. That merchandise was fantastic. I can't wait to see what the lady says about it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single post, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I lied. I, I, still, got, I still got Starbucks, but I, I promise, Crescent Moon is great for coffee, but I, I can't leave my baby. Trenta Refresher Strawberry with Water is my top drink. Uh, no judgment, okay? It's a hot day. So someone couldn't go to Universal, so I brought <laughs> Universal to you. Okay. You excited? Is this one thing? No, I got two things for you. Okay. Is this the well, ignore Halloween? The ignore the receipts. <laughs> Newbie, move. Oh my gosh, is this the new merch? Yep, it is. Oh, this is so nice. What do you think? I like that you got it in a, what is this, an XL? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I could theoretically wear it. <laughs> There's one more thing. Oh, these are so cute. I got Show Horror Nights earrings. Yes, you do. With the cat. Speaking of, where is he? <gasps> Mr. Bjorn. Hey. 
Here we go.